1927, a cargo ship carrying coal hit a reef. What happened was the moored ship broke free during a storm and then it got washed up, hit these rocks. And that is it right there. There isn't much out there, just lots of rusty steel and a few holes. And those are the holes that I've been aiming to catch a lobster from. Last night I put two lobster traps out right next to the wreck and I'm just about to go and check them. Right, let's get a lobster. Yeah, we got one. Oh yeah. And there we go. Got a nice size lobster and two or three, maybe yeah, and three velvet crabs. Not a bad result. So when I was out there a minute ago, the other pot, there was a big lobster sitting, well, walking around on top of the pot trying to get in. I think I disturbed it a bit, so I've left it. And I'm now gonna go and put this pot right back next to the big one, and hopefully he'll climb in. I'll just get rid of these. Look, huh, that one's got no claws. So I've put the other trap right next to the, the trap that the lobster was on in order to sort of double the chances of the lobster finding the entrance hole and getting in there. At this point, I was hoping to see the lobster, but he wasn't to be seen. So I decided to retrieve the pots and head back to shore. still one thing I had to do and that was head back to shore and measure the lobster that I caught earlier.
this is it, this is the lobster. Let's see how big it is. I've got a feeling it might just about be, be within legal size. What we're looking for is a measurement from this part here, pretty much the back of the eye. From there, the back of the eye, all the way to the back of the shell right there. We're looking of measurement of 80, sorry, 87 millimeters or greater. What I normally do is, I normally go for anything 90 millimeters or bigger, just to give them a bit more of a chance. Another thing, we always make sure that there's no V-notch in it, because if there's a V-notch in the tail, then it's a marked female breeder. And obviously we also look for any berries, which are the eggs. So as you can see, he's only got the one claw, but let's measure it. And as you can see, it's 90, 91, 91, 92 millimeters, which is plenty big enough to keep. Well, just about big enough to keep. So what I'm gonna do now is put him in here and take him home. So that brings us back here to my garden. I've already dispatched the lobster. I've got some water boiling, so it's now time to put it in. And that should take about 12 minutes. 
I chopped up a red onion and then I added some seasoning mix. It's the mix I like to add to things like crayfish when I boil them up. And here we are, fresh claw. Wow. Oh. Wow. So sweet. Mmm, incredible. You can't beat fresh lobster. This is so tasty. Let's see if we can get this one out in one. Oh yeah. And a bit more lemon. Mmm. And look at that mighty, mighty lobster tail. I'm just cleaning out his guts. Looks quite clean already. Not much to it. Right, there we are happy with that and I'm keeping that I'm eating that the next thing I want to do is I just want to chop all of this up into lots of small pieces So here we've got some freshly toasted bread. I put in some butter, maybe a little bit too much butter, that's why I poured it bit out. And then I put in a bit of garlic. So we've got a bit of garlic style bread. And then as for the mayonnaise, well I just added a bit of parsley and a bit of lemon. To that I added my shredded tail. And now, moment of truth. Mmm, wow, you know. That's so good. That's so good. Wow. Mm. So while I go and enjoy the rest of this, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. 
and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.